We're getting reports from the Coast Guard about a developing situation at the harbor front. We have a lot of unmarked container ships approaching. They're refusing to identify themselves. Over. took us by surprise. We had been at war for almost four months and still we couldn't understand what was happening. Even as artillery shells started exploding on the streets of Seattle, many people just stood there, stunned by shock and disbelief. War can be fascinating to watch on TV, but up close and personal, it's a whole other story. Imagine your office blown to pieces, your car thrown about like a discarded glove, and your friend lying on the street, his body torn to bloody shreds. That was the reality in Seattle on that fateful day in the fall of 89. The army was fighting in Europe and elsewhere, and our Navy was supposed to protect us from an invasion. But they failed. They were fooled, as we were all fooled by the Soviet ruse. But as the first Soviet tanks started rolling off those freighters, a few of us tried to organize a desperate defense. We were not about to give up without a fight. Yes, this is Captain Bannon. I'm trying to reach the Major. What? Who's in command then? What do you mean, I am? Tommy! 
enemies, Parker! We have to secure the area before we can start pulling back! Ah, oh, yeah. Time to command the U.S. Army. Bradley's on station. And it looks okay, like we got Parker. ourselves tow missiles, too. Pet, but you don't impress me worth a damn. We need some intel before we leave this quagmire. And I want you to gather it. Abandon you, pain in the ass. Find out what the hell is going on and relay back to me, Parker. I wonder how those damn commies managed to sneak by our Navy. Oh, damn. Full retreat. Vehicles, civilians just walking, buses fully loaded, cargo everywhere. And the harbor in shambles. They must have hidden in those civilian freighters. And I bet there's more coming. To anyone out there, this is Staff Sergeant Hansen of the Washington National Guard. I have men pinned down at the docks in need of immediate reinforcements. They're killing us! We hear you, Sergeant. See what you can do, Parker. My forces here are all tied down. All right, let's double time. Get those Bradleys over there. Auto cannon on top of that APC. Delicious. Oh, that makes a shortcut. Attention all units in Seattle. I am still unable to raise division or any higher command. We're on our own. All right, let's push up and rescue those other troops. Oh my god. Look at all those T-80s, T-72s, I think there are 62s. PT-76s, Chilkas. Bad news for us. Enemy light tank. All right, let's focus. Wipe them out, Parker. Show them what Americans are made of. All right, a little reverse maneuver there. Yeah, we got another enemy vehicle in front of us. All right, scope, scope. Wow, look at all those cargo ships. Fully loaded with communism. My god. This is Hansen. The National Guard has a supply depot near the harbor. If you could secure it, we might be able to bring in some reinforcements. All right. We need all the help we can get. Secure that depot, Lieutenant Parker. Fit for fight, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Come on, you cabbies! Me and my boys are going to set you up for a dinner date with Stalin! Ooh, look at all the infantry pushing out into the harbor. Ah, they were kind of successful there for a minute. Bring it on, you bastards! We can take whatever you throw at us! Damn rogue missile. Let's get everybody up to that depot. Proceed on foot. There's too many targets. Ah, the Kingdom. And we're going to launch an evacuation from there soon enough. Look at Seattle in the distance. Space Needle visible. The supply depot has been secured. This is where you'll get your reinforcements, Parker. You better make sure the LZ stays clear. Giant mountain off in the distance. Can you actually see that from Seattle? Of course, it's 1989, so all the landmarks from the late 80s, early 90s may be here. All right, reinforcements have arrived. Hansen here. A lot of civilians have gathered at the Kingdom. We have to get them out of there before it's too late. What we need, Sergeant, is to get the hell out of this city before it's too late for all of us. But we can't leave them there to die, Captain. Damn it. No, we can't. Parker, I can't risk going there. You will have to work your way.
way to the King Dome. You better recon the route before you go. The Russians are probably everywhere by now. I know that, Sergeant. Yep. Parker, send out some scouts to recon that position. They're setting up roadblocks. Alright, let's get our troops inside that building there. Wow, the highway is devastated. Yeah, they've cut off that route for retreat, advance, resupply, infantry, whatever. Alright, double time it, boys. Get in that building. All right, fire those Bushmaster auto cannons at that machine gun fortification. Make sure you fire those AT weapons too. Oh, uh, look at the buildings occupied by friendly troops. So damn cool. All right, we're about ready to capture. Clear off the infantry, clear off the light tank and the AT. Alright, area secure. Bring that vehicle back for repair. There's a lot of Russians occupying the buildings along the way, sir. We'll handle it. I've got an artillery battery on the horn and they're offering fire support. Ooh. Don't waste it on nothing, Parker. And make sure you clear out that infantry before moving your units through. This is Yankee 5. Just provide us with your target coordinates and we'll take care of the rest. Over. Yankee 1. Bravo 4. We're facing a sustained Soviet assault and cannot hold. Please advise. Over. All right. This is Dino 1 Actual. Level anything that even thinks about sharing is caring. Good effect on target. Damn. The route is clear, and that artillery battery is needed elsewhere, Parker. Now get your butt to the Kingdom. We're gonna airlift in reinforcements and then get some trucks to carry those civilians out of there. Too late, sir! The Russians are moving into the parking lot at the Kingdom, and my men have spotted several anti-air batteries there as well. I'll abort the evacuation then. Those civilians will have to fend for themselves. Wow, coward. Unless we can get rid of that triple A. Yeah, well, I don't have the men to spare. Parker, you give it a try. Clear the LZ at the Kingdom so our choppers can get the civilians out of there. Parker, there's a damaged Bradley stranded near the Kingdom. See if you can patch it up. I'm sending a Humvee for you to use. Okay, there's a wounded vehicle. It's been wounded. It's bleeding. <laughs> We have to repair it with our Humvee. Ah, I forgot that light vehicles can do this, too. Usually they're not so important, but the fact that you can repair a vehicle with a light vehicle makes them incredibly effective. All right, let's get the infantry into this. Uh, I'm losing people all over the city, damn it! We won't be able to hold out much longer! The Xander building. Damn, look at the detail in this game. I mean, for 2007, you got to hand it to them. I mean, this is phenomenal. I mean, this looks like a heavily... <laughs> modded city and city skylines. I'm still dumbfounded with how well and how detailed everything looks, even though some of it is obviously a fake facade. I mean, fire raging, smoke, the clouds, and the skybox up above. You can actually see layers of clouds. Look at that. An aircraft all the way up there? That's ridiculous. How the hell did this game not get a sequel? This is a crime. Absolute crime. All right, let's, uh, can we order another Humvee? Uh, we, I don't even think we can get our vehicles repaired. It looks like we've abandoned the National Guard base. Forget it. We're just going to have to keep that Humvee alive. All right, let's push into the parking lot of the Kingdom. That left. Get our infantry up here. All right, come on out. All right, infantry forward. Take that damn parking lot. Looks like they got anti-aircraft units and infantry everywhere. Can we take cover in the trees? No, there's too few. Oh, and look at the leveled parking lot, too. This game creates, like, divots in the ground. Giving 
Very minor cover, but possible that the enemy might not be able to fire upon you for just a brief moment. Well, let's bring two Bradleys up the road on the left. Three Bradleys to clear the parking lot. I'll be damned, Parker. We might just do this. Keep it up. All right, crush all that infantry. Friendly choppers on the way. Okay, get those anti tank up there. Another one down, Parker. Good work, boys. One more, and we can bring in those choppers, Lieutenant. Crush that infantry, run them over. Bravo 4 here. We have almost no ammo left, and I got a lot of wounded men. We need support. We're pushing to you. Got to get past the train station. The area is clear of enemy AA. I've called in the choppers. Get to the LZ and set up a perimeter. All right, communism eliminated. Repairing this parking lot. Two niner. The LZ has been cleared. I repeat, the LZ has been cleared. We're bringing in reinforcements at this time. Over. Hotel Two Niner. This is Hotel Six. Hold formation and keep a lookout for the enemy. They'll be back in the area soon enough. Hotel Six out. There we go. Troops have arrived. Blackhawks on station with the beautiful infantry that'll support the LZ and help to evacuate. 25 minutes later. Wow, that's not a lot of time. up on it now here we're supposed to use box formation or at least they recommend that I can always recall that but in this case we're just gonna stay at the foothold and pick these tanks off from a distance and keep those repairs going he's one random stray round is going to destroy our Humvee that's crazy one random round is gonna just hit that thank you sir now there are just a couple of more guys that need help All right, we need to push up the street and then take a I'm right. I'm sure they taught you this at West Point, Parker, but if you order your guys to move in a box formation, it'll be a lot easier to negotiate those narrow streets. And there it is. All right, let's get up there with this the infantry. This is Bravo 4. We need reinforcements, damn it! Is anyone out there? My RTO just got shot, and I'm down to my last man. Hang in there, Bravo 4. We'll get you out. Roger that. I'll try to relocate the... No, so much for Bravo that. Bravo 4, come in! You've located them, LT. If you can help them clear the area, they can get away. Keep pushing up, boys. 
Keep firing those toes. Ready for duty. Eight, okay. Securing building, sir. Dude, we can occupy that building there. Ready to repair. Mechanic is in place, sir. Start repairs. Patching them up, sir. Mechanic is in place. Sir. Start repairs. Bomb. All right, we got to capture that really cool-looking intersection too. I love that beautiful train station with the uh, kind of crossroads there with the highway. Really cool stuff. Damn! Did they drop a bunker buster on that building? Well, damn. Almost like it's a war going on or something. Soviets hit us with a precision strike in that building. Alright, if we get that depot, we get reinforcements. Support for you. Use it to clear the area. This is Yankee 5. We're standing by and ready to fire, sir. Who the hell is in charge of this mess? I, I, I thought we were going to retreat! And we will, Private, but we have to stay organized. To hell with that, sir! If we want to live, we better start running! Stay off the net if you don't have anything useful to report. <laughs> blue on blue situation. Oh, I wish the AI would be a little smarter. I'm what's left of the second platoon, and I'm getting out of this city now. I suggest you all do the same. You will retreat in an orderly fashion, Private. That's a direct order. Sir, screw you. Ready, moving. Yes. Yeah. The supply depot has been secured. This is where you'll get your reinforcements, Parker. You better make sure the LZ stays clear. Oof. War is messy, boys. To all units, check in with me before you reposition. And rally at position 2-4 if your CO is dead. All right, let's hit those tanks. Hell yeah, we're going to need them. We're going to need a Humvee. We're going to need a Bradley. We're going to need the squad replenished. All right, let's push down the line. Okay. Yeah, random artillery falling everywhere. Yes, sir. On our way, sir. Moving out. Okay. Moving. Enemy vehicle. All right. Good job, boys. Final push. The underpass has been blocked. Now you're gonna have to fight your way out. Never mind. Oh, they're coming up behind. All right, we got to make a run for that tunnel if we're going to survive. We're severely outnumbered. All right, push, push. Oh, friendly tanks broke through on the right flank, too. We have support. All right, push across those infantry. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Nicely done. Try to avoid taking so many casualties, 
Parker. I've sent some reinforcements to your supply, LZ. <laughs> Sir, a random artillery strike just hit right this here. This is Eagle Six. Captain Bannon, is that you? Colonel Sawyer? How the hell did... No time, Captain. Bring what forces you have and meet me by the I-90 bridge. You got that? Sir, I... A simple yes will suffice, Bannon. Yes, sir. We'll be there. Bannon out. Victory, brother, yeah! Ooh, very hard definitely means very hard. All those random artillery strikes that you can encounter. It's really cool that, you know, you can have a different mission each time you play. Like, the artillery will land in different places. It seems like the timing of airstrikes and napalm and such can be different every time you play. And uh, that is cool as hell, man. It's, it's, it's a war, that's for sure. And uh, a beautiful-looking city, even though she's on fire. All right, I'll see you all next time in the next mission for World in Conflict, mission number three. Thank you very much for watching our second episode. Thank you very much for leaving a like. Thank you for subscribing, and I hope to see you all soon. Remember to check the playlist for a full run-through of the uh, three previous playthroughs, or I guess three in total, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. The best game ever even thought about. Created, crafted, a masterpiece, truly. See you all soon.